Hello and welcome to a new EasyDigitals.com video tutorial. Remember, you can get all of our high quality Photoshop and Photoshop Elements templates at EasyDigitals.com. Just click on the Products button. And don't forget to sign up for our monthly newsletter. We give away free templates and tutorials each and every month, along with product update info and coupons. Okay, Kim, what easy tutorial are you going to show us today? Okay, a few people have asked me what process I use for my photos. So I thought I would go ahead and do a quick tutorial and show you how I post process my photos. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up my photo. Right now I have up a this is what I like to call an inspiration photo which I think has really nice color. It's a stock photo. I can compare my photo and make sure that I like the color based on looking at this one and sometimes it just helps give me a gauge. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up my photo that I took in RAW and this is my photo and I have this little triangle um, on and it shows me the areas that are maybe blown out and this one shows me with blue the areas that may be too black and there's not a lot so it's not anything to worry about if there was a lot of black then I may need to do some adjustments with the blacks and decrease it just so that I still have some shadows and some good color and one of the reasons I liked this photo is he has a nice intense look on his face you can see his face and he's also got the ball in the picture it has lots of nice space in front of him and with sports shots it's always nice to have room in front of the player so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna first thing I'm gonna do is come to auto and I always like to see what auto does and I like what it's done and I may but I may want to just increase the temperature a little bit to come over to my saturation and increase it the vibrance and the clarity sometimes it's nice to just have a really nice bright photo and that's all the adjustments that I'm going to do in RAW. So I'm going to go ahead and click Open Image. I'm going to make a copy of my original and change this to 25% so I don't have any distortion. Um, the first thing I always like to do is run a noise filter. I'm going to come up here to Filter, come to Image Nomic, Noiseware Professional. And when I was looking for a Noiseware program, I downloaded the free trial of a lot of them, and this is the one that I finally decided on. I just really liked all the options that it had. It has settings for landscape. The portrait one is great for uh, close-up photos um, where you really want the skin to look soft. But for sports photos, I go ahead and usually just use landscape, and you can see the difference. And then you can also adjust these if you feel like it's it's got too much smoothing going on. You can adjust it a little bit further with all of these other areas. And I'm going to go ahead and just run the basic landscape and click OK. That really takes all the noise out, but it also softens up the edges a little bit. So what I like to do is make a copy of that layer, come up here to Filter, Other, and then High Pass. And usually for a high resolution photo like this, a three pixel is perfect. Um, you can see what it looks like with higher. Basically what it's doing is you can see these areas, you can see these areas on the edges and it's just basically going to highlight those. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then I come over to the adjustment area and click Overlay. And then if I turn it off and on, you can see the adjust the difference that it makes. I'm going to go ahead and change this to 50 so you can see it close up. And you can see how it sharpens the edges. And if you think, well, that brought some of the noise back and I don't like that, then you can always take your high pass layer and you can run your noise wear on your high pass layer. And that takes some of the noise out. You can see the before and after here where it's taken the noise out of that. So I'm going to go ahead and press OK. And then one, one more thing that I usually do is I, I usually try to run a curves. So stay tuned. Hey, that was easy. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this tutorial or any of our products, you can always reach us at easydigitals.com.
Have yourself a creative day.